Welcome to English News Alumni Radio and Television Station. Dear viewers, on December 31st, 2023, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính attended a conference to summarize the work in 2023 and deploy the task in 2024 of the natural resources and environment sector. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính praised, appreciated, and emphasized this outstanding results achieved by the whole industry, including the work of perfecting institution policies and laws, in particular with the land law project amended. The Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment, in its leading role, has shown determination, high efforts, closely follow reality, persistently research, absorbed, and is planned to advise the government to resolve difficult issues in draft law. Besides the results, he also noted some shortcomings and limitations in solving a rising issue in resource management, environmental protection, and response to climate change. Concurrently, he emphasized nine key tasks for our industry in the coming year. In particular, he emphasized the need to continue improving institutions, building a synchronous and feasible system of policies and laws to remove difficulty for people and enterprises, mobilize, manage, and effectively use natural resources for economic and social development, protect the living environment, proactively adapt to climate change. UK Consulting Center CBR assessed Vietnam and the Philippines as two Southeast Asian economies capable of leapfrogging in the ranking of top 25 world economies in period from now to 2048. According to CBR in 2024, Vietnam will increase one rank to rank 33 and then will continue to increase rapidly to 24th position in 2033 before becoming the world 21st economy in 2048. Especially, CBR evaluates Vietnam and the Philippines as outstanding illustration for a group of countries that are expected to improve their rankings by repositioning themselves in the global value chain, apply internal reforms, and increasing their productivity workforce. Particularly in the field of export, in 2023, Vietnam total export turnover rough agriculture, forestry, and fishery reached 53 billion US dollar. Trade surplus is more than 12 billion US dollar, an increase of nearly 44 percent compared to the previous year. The entire industry value grew by 3.83 percent, the highest in the past 10 years. That is, export items reaching over 3 billion US dollar, such as vegetables, rice cashew nuts, coffee, shrimp, wood, and wooden products. In addition, for the first time, Vietnam earned more than 50 million US dollars to successfully transfer 10.3 million tons of carbon emission reduction in the forestry sector. Facing the situation of strong fluctuation in gold bar prices, the Foreign Exchange Management Department of the State Bank affirmed that it is ready to increase the supply of HJC gold bars to the market and have solutions to limit impact on the exchange rate and inflation. In the common term, the State Bank will continue to coordinate with the Ministry of Public Security and related ministry and department to inspect gold trading activities. The State Bank said it is currently evaluating the limitation of Decree 24 in January. The agency will submit a final report to Decree 24, proposing amendments and settlement to a number of gold market management mechanisms in accordance with the new context of the market. In 2012, the State Bank issued Decree 24 with policy anti goldization of the economy. Since then, the State Bank has exclusively produced gold bars in all hard second jewelry company. HAC to preserve them when needed under supervision of the operator. To create favorable conditions for people receiving pensions and monthly social insurance allowance during the lunar year of the Dragon in 2024, Vietnam Post Corporation has just issued a document instructing provincial post offices to urgently make the gross pension payment in January and February 2024 in two forms, receiving cards or via ATM cards. 
accounts. The payment term at the point does not change, except that the beneficiary will receive the money for all two months in one payment period. Currently, the units are focused on maximizing human resources, ensuring timely and full payment of beneficiary benefits, strengthening inspection and supervision during the payment process to handle and resolve a rising situation. According to provision of Circular 66 2023 of the Ministry of Public Security, the forms of receiving resident registration doses from January 1, 2024 include directly at the resident registration office, online via public service portal or other online public services, or via VNEID application. Meanwhile, all regulation only stipulate forms of receiving resident registration doses, including directly at the resident registration office or online through National Public Service Portal or the Ministry of Public Security or Residence Management. In addition, citizens can also reflect information about the residence of citizens and households and confirm the information about the residence through the VNEID application. Coast Guard Ship 6008 under Coast Guard Region 3 combined and successfully rescued fishing vessel number KH. 9165TS safely to Fui Port Bintung Province. Receiving a mobilization order from the command post of Coast Guard Region 3 to rescue fishing vessels, Coast Guard Ship 6008 urgently maneuver at a faster speed to locate two fishing vessel bearing numbers KH 9165TS and KH 9617TS crossed above. 22 nautical miles south southeast of Fui Island. After more than three hours travel at 9.30 p.m. on December 29th, Coast Guard Ship 6008 arrived at an area where the ship was in distress. In the area where the ignition was level 6, gust level 7, and rough sea, at 4 p.m. on December 30th, Coast Guard Ship 6008 towed the ship KH 9165 to Fui Island and handed it over to the border guard. The authority continued to tow ship KH 9641 7TS to the Fui Island. 